I texted that boy's mom, y'all. He went low, I went lower. And am I proud of my decision? Mm. <laughs> y'all, when you go through your first heartbreak, you, you, you're a mess. If you've been heartbroken before, you're a mess. Okay, this story time was years ago. Please don't judge me. Um, if my future husband is watching, I would never do something like that ever again. Okay? <laughs> We're just gonna get into the story because um, this is gonna be really funny for some people to rehear and this is also going to sound really insane <laughs> for the people in my life who don't know this story in this time. So let's just, let's go. <laughs> and also this crazy story time comes with receipts and my old phone that I'm going to be reading and showing to you. So <laughs> let me set the stage for you, okay? I was 18 years old. Well, just turned 19 when I got my first heartbreak. Um, very young, like fresh out of high school. Um, that was like my boyfriend, like my first year out of high school. He is from, uh, he abandoned him at the amusement park. Go watch my second story time on that channel. Hans, him, yeah. He's also mentioned in the first part of why I've never had a good Valentine's Day. So let me give you a little bit of background on him so we can get into what I did. So I was 18. I was in college, living in a college apartment. Um, my roommate was friends with this guy from high school who happened to see me from her page. We started dating, yada, yada, yada. That's like my real serious boyfriend. Lots of firsts, first loves, first all of that. We were together for a year until it just started coming, crumbling down, you know, like it does sometimes with young love. We just started arguing a lot. He would be really cold to me, blah, 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 blah. And then he finally dropped the ball on me that basically he didn't want to be with me anymore. <laughs> and uh, he was on about this, 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 this. I mean, the list kept going. <laughs> I'm laughing through the painful memories. <laughs> Basically, very immature, didn't know how to be honest with himself, didn't know how to be honest with me. All came crashing down one argument. I was heartbroken, I was down bad, still trying to figure out how to make it work. Um, but yeah, then we were done. We were done. I was so depressed. I was depressed for months. Like, y'all know that first heartbreak? where he makes all these promises and all these we're never breaking up da, 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 and you believe it and then it just comes crashing down oh I was so hurt I was waking up sobbing going to sleep sobbing it's like <sighs> y'all know how it goes I was so so hurt but I was even more hurt when I talked to him a week later so I don't remember if I blocked him on anything but I sure didn't block him on TikTok I'm scrolling through TikTok, his TikTok pops up. This is like a week after we break up. Of course, I'm so anxiously attached and codependent on this man. I was also a very insecure person who was not taking the signs as they were that I should leave. So um, I was the Lulu, you know. Um, I look on his page and I see he's already following new girls. Like his bio is like, oh, I look better on Instagram. Corny. <laughs> How do I still remember that? I freak out. I start panicking. I'm like, oh my God. Like, y'all know how heart-wrenching it is to see someone you love and thought was really yours forever is moving on. So I call him. He answers. I'm just like, are you already talking about someone else? I saw your TikTok from <laughs> I'm just crying, sobbing. He's all like, it's none of your business. Like, at first he was coming kind of hot, but he was like, no, I'm not, blah, 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 blah. I'm still just crying, sobbing about how hurt I am. I'm like, how are you like, okay? Like, I'm like so depressed. I'm so sad and it just seems like there's nothing wrong with you. Y'all know how boys are. They be acting like they're on cloud nine after a breakup. <sighs> but y'all know how they really feel. <laughs> um, so I'm like, it's only been a week, like blah, 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 blah. And then I remember he slipped up and he said something about like, oh, like, do you even have feelings? With oh, I remember. I was like, I was like, do you still love me? He was like, yes, of course I still love you. I was like, do you still have feelings for me? Why did this man say feelings? 
um I'm like what when we broke up I asked you to please tell me if, like is there anything else you're lying about tell me every single thing so you can just finally be honest y'all this boy admits to me he stopped having feelings for me weeks before we broke up like a month <laughs> like a month like i literally i had such a terrible birthday that year because of him and because of covid and because of family issues and so i had this redo birthday dinner that he came to which was i think the last time i saw him like maybe two weeks prior and I just remember he was being like so cold, just like different, kind of like not really like conversing with me or seeming like he was like having as much fun, but then still kind of trying to be like sexual. And it was like, it just didn't feel like normal. And I just was like, I don't know. I'm like, so that day you were acting weird when we went to the beach and stuff. Did you even have feelings for me back then? He says no. <laughs> I start, I don't know how, like, I'm just remembering this as I go. I start going off on him. I'm like, you're such a liar. All I asked was for you to be honest. You couldn't even be honest on the last phone call. What's wrong with you? You're a terrible person. Blah, 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 blah. And then he starts crying because he feels bad. I'm like, yeah, yeah. Like, you don't know me, my nigga? Five years by your side and I'm just a button, my nigga? You want to push me, my nigga? You want to push me, my nigga? And so then I calmed down a little bit and I'm like, who did you tell about the breakup? And he was like, my best friend. Yeah, his fake friend from that uh, Six Flags story time and my mom. And I'm like, what did your mom say? <laughs> Let's let's get a back down run on his mom. <laughs> his mom loved me. Me and his mom were like this. Miss Nancy, if you've seen this, I love you, girl. <laughs> like she was so cool, y'all. She was super sweet, super welcoming, um, calling me her baby and stuff. And so, yeah. Um, but she was also she was someone who was like very, very nice, but like, bitch, don't try her. Like he literally told me about her beating up a man before. I said, Oh, Oh, so yeah, I'm like, what does your mom say? He was like, uh, when I told her about how I lied to you and how I broke up with you, she started going off on me. She started like screaming at me and yelling at me and I started crying. I said, oh, he said, she was like, what is wrong with you? Why are you lying? Like, I didn't teach you to lie. If I was Alicia, I would have whooped your ass for lying. He said, she said that. He was like, she, like, you're lucky I'm not doing that right now. Like, you gonna break up with her right before Christmas. What's wrong with you? She a real one. You a real one, Miss Nancy. I'm listening to this. I'm just like, oh, okay. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> like, she's so real. I was literally like, yeah, she's so right. Like, I was being so mean. I was like, oh, wow. Like, she's so right. Like, I'm glad she told you all that. And yeah. And then the phone call ended, blah, blah, blocked him, never spoke to him again, right? Um, now we get into what I did. <laughs> there was also like some drama with like the people we knew when we broke up because like, obviously his, I, w I didn't live with my friend I met him through anymore, but like, I still considered her a friend and we like knew the same people. And like, she was just saying a whole bunch of whatever, like, she was on my side but she wasn't and so i just felt so sad and so depressed and so unsupported like this dude just gets to go live his life and i'm here depressed and like just left in the cold and i was lied to and it was out of nowhere i was just so hurt so what his mom said like meant so much to me honestly like even though it was funny <laughs> and it was so real i was just like i'm so used to hearing about enabling boy mom so it just like made me feel like so it made me feel so good like his own mom was standing up for me and like I just obviously the day after that call I was pissed I was like oh he was lying about more he was lying about losing fi oh okay okay so my feelings of being pissed off plus my feelings of um feeling so heartwarmed by what his mom said clashed into me texting his mom <laughs> Well, call me Lifetime, bitch, because I'm bringing the drama. Oh, he's with you now, girl? Then why he come running back? Oh, you putting it down? Then why my naughty his snack? 
My new name, Alanis, because there's chicks you ought to know. I'll do whatever to win. Fuck going high, I'm going low. Y'all know the line in Doja Cat's ain't shit? I'm not gonna key your car. <laughs> oh, that was me. I said, yep, she's so real, and that's what I did. Call, I'll call your fucking mom. That's what I did. Um, so now I'm gonna pull up the messages. <laughs> Y'all know how boy moms are. Like, she thought that her son was this perfect Christian waiting till marriage angel baby. That was her view of her son. <laughs> and when we're in a relationship, um, we were, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. We were, you know, having in the house. Um, but also he told me like when he was in high school that literally like his mom works nights and oh, he would brag, she's so trusting. Like I used to have this girl over when she worked nights and we used to be, and she ain't never know a thing. Uh, he used to talk about his mom like that. So I said, I took mental note of that. I said, oh, I'm over here talking about that. Like I wasn't having in her house too, but <clears throat> at least I wasn't sneaking in. <laughs> Fire, just like this pussy. <laughs> So I'm like, I'm going to text his mom and tell her, thank you so much for standing up for me. And thank you for the support with the breakup, blah, blah, blah. And I'm also going to tell her her son's secrets. <laughs> this was so evil, y'all. Like, <laughs> this was literally so evil. But like, a lot of people, they get their lick backs by doing even grimier stuff. They get their licks backs by using their body or using just someone else. I'm like... I hit it. I hit it where it hurts in the family. Oh, you want to mess up our relationship? I'm going to mess up the relationship you and your mama. <laughs> Yo, this was diabolical. So I basically was like, hi, I just want to tell you, thank you for being so kind to me. Oh, I almost said his name. <clears throat> Hans told me what she said on the phone a few days ago. I really appreciate you sticking up for me in this time like the comfort really matters i really did care about him want to be with him blah blah he is i'm like okay like but he wasn't honest but <laughs> yo i said but he does this to other people but he's not honest with other people too <laughs> like he used to tell me in high school when he used to sneak girls into the house to have with them when you went to work at night, I casually just slipped that in the middle of the paragraph. <laughs> I said, I said, I'm really sorry and sad things didn't work out. I just want to let you know how much I appreciated you. I'm just casually, oh my, I just casually, <laughs> her response, like I said, she's an angel. She's an angel, beautiful woman, terrible son. She's all like, baby, I'm so sorry. I love you, blah, 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 blah. I try to raise him to be a good young man. He really loves you. I really love you. She was basically just telling me, you're beautiful inside and out. Like, I've been through a lot with men. Like, don't let it change you, beautiful. Oh, I never, she said, I got you a Christmas gift. I still have it. Like, just, just whatever. Notice how she didn't respond to the part about me saying when he was sneaking girls in. So I had to throw back in my next <laughs> So I basically just respond being like, thank you so much. I love you too. I really tried. Like, I feel so comfort comforted that you say you understand what I'm going through. And like, this message is really comforting. Then she responded. Um, oh, so some reason she didn't respond in the first part. But in this next part, she mentioned the sneaky thing. <laughs> she was all like, boys are dumb. I don't know why he did that. Blah, 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 blah. I told him, like, Alicia's my only daughter-in-law, blah, blah, blah. He said he's not interested in anyone else. I'm like, good, because Alicia's my one and <sighs> We, look at with my... <laughs> and then, at the end, she said, um, feel free to call me and text me whenever. I'm here for you. And also, he ain't had no either. Not in my house, LOL. <sighs> Sorry to break it to you. <laughs> so... I respond back. I just had to make sure she knew. I said, thank you so much. I appreciate you. I hope next time you talk to, I hope next time you talk to him, he tells you the truth. 
because he did used to lie about that. He told me. And girl, I was so, oh my God. And I'm all like, I'm all sentimental. I'm all like, I really hope next time you talk to him, he comes clean to you as a mom. Because I feel like that's so important. Thank you. Merry Christmas. Yo, but yeah. Then she started to really be like, oh, oh, because she was like, oh, well, if he, he be doing that, he ain't no better than his friend. She put a mad, mad emoji. She started getting mad. I said, oh, yeah. And then again, she said, thank you. Thank you, too. I'm not giving up. Love you. I'm like, love you, too. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to key your car. I'll call your fucking mom. You should have paid my rent. Go get a fucking job, niggas ain't shit. <laughs> yeah, guys, I texted my ex's mom when I was in my crazy girl era, my delusional era, my weak girl era. I did that. And, you know, I would not do it again. Like I said again, if my future husband is watching, <laughs> I'm not like that anymore. Um, My last boyfriend was actually really abusive and psychotic, but I didn't even tell him family that. I'm just letting karma take care of it, so... <laughs> But yeah, don't recommend. I was on a high. I was sending it to my friends for a little bit. Like, because eh, 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 eh. like I said, um, I know his mom is a super nice lady who can also be really about that life, like fighting men. And like, like, I know, I know he got an ass woman, y'all. I just, Don't ask me how I know, <laughs> but I know. <laughs> but yeah, it did not make the hurts, the pain. It did not take any of that away. Um, after I got on my little high, I went back to how I was feeling. So <laughs> to all my other girls out there, boys out there, non-binary people, whatever, especially if you're young, don't do stuff like this. <laughs> Karma is real. No matter what people looking like, think they look like they're having a jolly old time on social media or whatever, people are human. They have feelings. It doesn't matter if they show it or they don't. Like, come on. Come on now. But yeah, I did that. I did that. And it's, <laughs> like I said, even though I wouldn't do it again, I just think it's such a funny, hilarious story to tell. Like, when my daughter or son gets their heart broken one day, I'm going to tell them how I act and be like, it's okay. Like, it's okay. It's okay, baby. But yeah, guys, let me know what you think in the comments. <laughs> Let me know what you did in your heartbreak, crazy, down bad era. Because I want to know. I want to know all the tea. <laughs> Please follow me on TikTok and Instagram at Alicia Milan. Um, I actually was promoting this story time on my live like an hour ago. And I've actually told this story on my live already. So you guys want to go and see what's going on, especially on TikTok, but on Instagram too. Please follow me. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed my mess. <laughs> Please like, comment, and subscribe on this video. And I will catch you guys in the next story time. Bye!